you know, we are getting a surprising number of inquiries, um, and it, it's partly due to the, the spread of the project and its impact. But we're getting uh, quite a few queries now about how can the project help women who have low libido? Um, and a related question guys like to ask is, if I'm working with someone who claims to have no previous orgasmic response or claims to be just completely unresponsive, what can I do? And the first thing you have to understand is we're taking a very, very different approach. We do not begin with the physical. Uh, we are going to get physical and it's going to be fine, but we begin with the mental and the emotional states. And that's because within that framework, anything is possible. Yes, you can teach a woman who has who complains of low libido. You can teach her how to be responsive in an incremental fashion. You cannot go to someone who does not speak Polish and snap your fingers and go speak Polish. They, they will try very hard. They'll respond in some kind of gibberish that they think sounds Polish, okay, because it's, they're going to make it true through translogic inside their head. But if you instead say, here, I'm going to teach you how to learn Polish faster, than you ever thought possible. And then you just utilize their natural skills and resources. Yeah, you're gonna have them doing something difficult in a very, very short time. By the same token, if we want to take them into orgasmic pleasure, we start with having them experience pleasure at all. And that's why typically we start with relaxation because starting with relaxation also lowers inhibition and the willingness to resist. So you're getting like three powerful uh, reinforcements right at the beginning. The, the types of pleasure, physical pleasure we're talking about, like in a full orgasmic response, um, the, these are all mental phenomena anyway. Okay, It's mental phenomena in terms of the meaning that is placed on the incoming sensory response, which is why some people can touch you in an unwelcome way and other people can touch you and it just turns you on. It's the different filter. right? And all we're doing when we're working with people with low libido, no libido, no previous experience, I work with people who are like totally dead into sensation below the waist because of spinal injury and you have them orgasming like crazy. Why? Because we work at the level of the filter. It doesn't matter whether the physical response is coming in or not. We are triggering that filter as though they were receiving the direct sensory input and then they respond appropriately. Which, and then, because you're a hypnotist, you can describe an infinite wealth of detail about what an orgasm is. Which is why we start out with a typical uh, constricted kind of orgasm and then teach them to spread it out through their entire body, teach them to have it coming in waves, certainly coming on command, stopping on command. All these things are just messing with their, the filters of perception. And one of the big filters, of course, is they're learning that every time they respond successfully to you, whether it's one of the initial small steps or the big showstopper, well, they're doing things correctly, they're obeying your commands, and of course they receive pleasure, constant pulses of deep, meaningful pleasure as their reward. And so becoming orgasmic is just one of many impossible things that they learn to do with you. So yes, if they have low libido, that is not a barrier at all.